Now we're ready for a sample run. So what I'm going to do is take the magnet, I'll hold it over the pipe from the tab so that it hangs down, and I'm going to let go. But I need to start Logger Pro first. So first I'll go to Logger Pro, and I'll hit Collect, and I've got five seconds to do my trial. Wait for it. You have to wait for it to end. You can't hit stop. Now, I waited about three seconds here. You can't see very much, can you? That's, but there's our little wiggle, and that's the signal. So to zoom in on that quickly, you can go up to auto scale, and there it is. And now to zoom in on just this part between seconds three and four, we can draw a rectangle, the dark rectangle. And then if I push the zoom in button, the magnifying glass with plus, there it is. I've got the signal. And in fact, I can do that several times if I want. If I watch, if I, if the, if the dark rectangle doesn't include the vertical and I zoom in, it cuts off the top and bottom. So you don't want to do that. Let me zoom out. And I'll just zoom the rectangle some more. And there's my event. Now you can see it's not symmetric. The voltage went up and then went to zero and then went down as the magnet passed through and then went back to zero. It all happened very quickly. And I can grab onto this axis here and drag it down to make the graph a little more symmetric so you can see that. And what I want to do is measure the peak voltage, either the positive or the negative or the absolute value of both. But the easy way to do that is to highlight a region and here, the black rectangle doesn't matter. It's just going to get statistics all through this region. And what I'll do is I'll go up to this marker here, which says statistics. You can also go to analyze statistics. And you'll see it's like, it's like doing a curve fit, only we're getting the statistics. And the statistics for this region give me the minimum value is minus 0.2224 volts at 3.501 seconds. The maximum is 0 0.08042 at 3.479 seconds. Uh, the mean is closer to zero, the mean number of samples and all that. We, what we really need are the minimum and the maximum and because, that, because that's what you will use to measure the strength of the effect of Faraday's law. So that's a simple uh, that's an example of taking data, and I'm going to save this in a file, save as, and I will call it trial 00, zero because we're just getting started. And I will give you this file, and then you'll be able to open it up with Logger Pro and do your own analysis. It's much better than just giving you the graph because you can make whatever graph you want and do the analysis.